what is the business culture of the Nordics for if you're talking to me from yeah. California, from Silicon Valley, born and raised? What are the kind of differences? Oh, there are huge differences. And that was also, you know, kind of a shock for me as well. But I think, first of all, we don't have hierarchy. You have that in the U.S. In in the Nordics, we don't, right? So there's no, even though there are management and there are some someone leading in, and having that title, you, you are still you. You are not Mr. or Sir. You are still you. So that was kind of one of the big things that, that we don't have that hierarchy. And then life work balance, I mean, is important. We do have, you know, in terms of quality of life, going back to that. And, and this is something that we kind of laugh about, but it's actually a very much part of the truth is that I talk about in Sweden, you literally have only three or four months of sales and the reason why I say that is because we the schools are out for 10 weeks you have five weeks of a vacation time and then we have a lot of holidays where everything is pretty much closed the businesses shuts down so you literally have a window in end of September to maybe November and then it's hard to make you know business with the Nordics until maybe mid January, beginning of February. And also, I think in the U.S., you kind of work until eight, nine, ten p.m. Right? Mm -hmm. That's part of the more startup culture, I think, because you wouldn't even hear about you know companies having people working after five p.m. Like that wouldn't even happen. Like at four forty-five, people are shutting down computers. No one is answering emails or calls because at five p.m. they're outside of the office. Wow. So I think those kind of work culture was really a, a big difference. But I think in terms of consumers. I think we have a whole nother trust to our government, to our, we're not to the sources we trust very easily. In the US, you kind of have to prove 10 times over. It has been proven and you have to find the right type of people. They can, they can validate whatever you're trying to sell, right? So even though you have a company saying, hey, we're the best the health product out there, you had to have doctors to collaborate that you have to have several patients saying I went from 20 days to 10 days you know there's so many things happening that you constantly had to validate in the Nordic markets you kind of had brands saying hey this is us and this is what we stand for and that was it so it was kind of easier you know planning around strategies around that knowing that the trust is different and the work, work culture is different meaning that our view of of work-life balance was more important than monetizing on success. But the third thing, if I would add, we don't have the Hollywood stories that you do have in the U.S. And that, and the reason why I take take, take mention this is because that's kind of affected me and in where I am. We don't have that. You can come from nothing and have everything. We don't have those stories. We don't have those underdog stories of success, whatever that might be. We're very try to be humbled. We don't talk about our successes. We try to be very low key. Mm -hmm. I think those are some things that kind of resonates more and more when you think yeah. about the differences. 